Hi, it's Jane Orvier and we're back in the semi-darkened room to look at some imaging. So this time I'm going to show you how to find the landmarks for the cystogram. So the cystogram is taking a lateral x-ray of the caudal abdomen. We're using the skin surfaces, dorsal and ventral, and cranial and caudal we're looking at the ischium. So the ischium is the bumbo. He's got a little sticker here, but I'll show you how I did that. And then the one I want to show you, which I think is a little bit more difficult for people to find, is the umbilicus, because it's clearly a soft tissue landmark. Now, when we marked up for our thorax, we've already got a thoracic landmark. So we have got here, if I move it into the dark section, you'll see glow in the dark. So this is where our so the sternum is. So if you imagine the back half of the patient, we know that our umbilicus is going to be couple of inches down from where our last rib is. So if you think of when you're clipping for a spay or for a laparotomy, this is where it's going to be. So I'm going to take one of these and that is going to be where we take a line up and we'll see that's where our cranial collimation is. Our caudal, I've already put this on here, that's our little bum bone. So our ischium is our little bum bone. And if you think that that is kind of as far back as the skin goes, you'll see this, the bum bone ischium on really well on um, things like greyhounds and lurchers. And obviously in slightly fatter dogs, you might have to feel for it. But essentially you're going to have lateral. So you've got skin surfaces, dorsal, ventral. Then you've got a line coming up from this umbilicus here. So you're not doing, if I turn around, you'll see where we were before. That's our last rib roll him up, that is where our cisternum is and this is where our umbilicus is. So we're going to put it here, so we're going to take an image, skin surface, ischium, skin surface and this line here, so we're ignoring our last rib and that's our cystogram. Thanks for watching!